What's going on guys? So today we are reviewing the highly anticipated distance short from 10,000. Now quick disclaimer, I am an ambassador with 10,000, but they did not ask nor did they pay me to make this video. I just want to give my honest thoughts and opinions on the short. So a little bit of a backstory on the distance short. It is the third short that's come out within the pro line, which is a more specialized line of shorts. We started with the set short that was more for aquatic training, the tactical more for military and just kind of versatile training as well as now the distance short, which is obviously geared towards runners. So being that it does have this specification for runners, it definitely has its unique features and style that makes it stand apart. So starting off with the material, it is 80% polyester, 20% spandex, and it is extremely lightweight. Everything on here, they just seem like they went with the lightest material they could. From the perforated back panel, which has some holes for aeration, to the material of the short itself is extremely thin, to the liner has some mesh mixed in. They basically just wanted to keep the short as light as possible, obviously being that it's made for runners. There's also a slit on the side to just allow for greater range of motion in your stride. There's four pockets on the inside, two smaller ones where you could fit a little gel packet or product, as well as two bigger pockets that you could probably fit keys and maybe a small device in there. And the last thing as far as material is the waistband. I love the waistband that went with this. It doesn't bunch up at all during my runs. Even when it's super sweaty, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't adjust or get weird. It's obviously a nice simple drawstring, which I don't have any complaints about, uh, but definitely big win with the waistband. Now, how'd they do? How'd they perform? Well, I went in a 10 mile run, a 12 mile run, and also did a speed workout in these and man, it feels like you're wearing nothing. It feels like you're almost butt naked out there. Besides the liner, which I'll touch on in a minute, it, they're just so extremely lightweight, they really are. Part of me really wishes that they had real pockets, but at the same time, you can only do so much when you're having a very minimal lightweight short. So the pockets that they do have on the inside, I found them to be the, just the right size to hold my keys without the keys jumping around or anything like that. I already touched on the waistband being very comfortable even on those longer sweaty runs. And the biggest surprise to me that I was nervous about was the liner because this is the first time 10,000 has done a brief liner. It's usually a boxer brief. This one being a brief, I was a little concerned with how it was going to fit. And I could say I'm pleasantly surprised. For the most part, the liner fits just as comfortable, just as amazing as all the other liners in the 10,000 shorts. I will say though, because it is a brief style, if you have bigger legs, bigger glutes, it does kind of ride up your butt. But once it's there, it doesn't move, it doesn't get uncomfortable, but it will kind of suck up your butt uh, just if you're built that way. Now because I got these in a three inch inseam and they slit on the side, range of motion felt amazing with these. I didn't feel obstructed at all. I did notice a little bit of chafing, mainly because though I have very big, thicker legs, especially near my groin area, I have a bigger circumference, so I feel like I'm bound to have some level of chafing there. So if you have bigger legs, just keep that in mind. You might have a little bit of an issue with that, um, but I imagine if you have smaller legs, smaller quads, you probably won't run into that issue at all. Overall, these were everything I hoped and dreamed they were, and they have just been my absolute go-to short. I'm gonna try and wear them as long as I can before the weather gets cold again in the winter. And as a quick bonus, I just wanna to touch on the distance tank that they dropped along with the distance short. This is very comparable to the lightweight tank if you've seen my review on that before. It's super lightweight. I mean, so just like the short, you barely notice you have it on. I will say it feels a little bit softer than the lightweight tank, and for the same price, I'd probably just upgrade to this if I had the option. Now for the distance short, you can get it in either black, light gray, or that Niagara blue color, and it does clock in at $72. And one thing I always say is it is pricey, but you are paying for a premium product, and if running, if lifting, if whatever is truly something you're doing consistently, then you get what you pay for and these things are built to last. Now, if you are interested in getting the distance short or any other short from 10,000, you can click the link in the description below and it'll automatically apply my code, which gets you 15% off your entire order. So overall, in love with these shorts, excited to wear them a lot more, especially as the weather gets warm. But thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions at all about these shorts or any other shorts from 10,000, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.